someone as somebody who's completely opposite to who I am is what really drew me in. You know, it's Marvel. What else can I say? I feel like with Marvel, you know, is today's version of mythology. I'm just so thrilled to be able to play the fastest Eternal in the cast. Do you get nervous knowing they're going to be watching this? Oh uh, yeah, a little bit, of course, <laughs> of course. Well, it's going to be great. They're going to be very proud. Uh, what is it that you love about the MCU and, and how much do you love that you're returning for the second time? I mean, I was not... Did you feel like uh, it was an indie and, and you kind of see it in the movie as well. There's it, it, that kind of art house feel to it, along with the Marvel feel to it. Um, and I, I came from a, an online... You know, coming in, it was not intimidating, but you know, to, to arrive at you know with, it, with a big cast, but they all made it feel very um, comfortable for me, and it's like a big family on set and that family vibe. Um, but uh, yeah, it was it was nice. It was really really nice. Um, you know, again working working for Marvel, it's uh, being a fan of Marvel, it can be quite intimidating. And
screaming. Is that the vibe? Yeah, always for the wrong reasons. <laughs> Running away. <laughs> so talk to me. How did you react when you found out that you were going to be part of such a massive, massive movie? Do you know what? Dane Whitman. Mm. Dane Whitman, the human. That's what he said on my on my um, little uh, kind of character breakdown. Uh -huh. It was human who works in the Natural History Museum. <laughs> That's all I got. I was like, okay. And what's, I was there. like, what's Richard Madden? They were like, demigod who flies out the sky with lasers out of his eye. <laughs> That was, you know, that's what's so exciting. We got to kind of work out who are these people? What did they do? Were you in ancient Egypt together? Were you in Rome? What happened 5,000 years ago? And that was just really exciting to make with such an excellent bunch of actors. And what about Icarus, your character? An interesting character. What was it that appealed to you about that character that made you want? What was it like joining uh, the big ensemble that is this movie and creating the kind of camaraderie that I guess you need for a film like this? So I joined this movie quite late and I saw the cast as was um, and I saw the diversity that was there and it got me really excited and I wanted to be part of it. Um, so I jumped at the chance. I, as far as like, you know, this is very much the Eternals movie. I, I'm a kind of a slightly sidelined character. I represent humanity. I am always happy to be to be in England. So it's lovely and it's I play Thena and she's one of the Eternals, so a part of a big family. And um, she is a fighter. Some of us are thinkers, some of us are fighters, with depending on our our, uh, our skill set. So I'm uh, I'm one of the fighters, and um, and there's lots of other things about her, but we can't say everything because it's Marvel. So you'll have to see the film. 
I wanted to be a part of such of this cast. I wanted to, I, I took this film because I I love Chloe as a director and I really am a fan of the MCU. But I also when I heard that this cast would be the most diverse and inclusive and a new family coming forward to really have a you know broaden the the uh, for for so many people what the view of a superhero is and who is a superhero. I, I really wanted to make it. It, it, we feel very, I think we all feel very lucky. It's was something you're joining that's been built long before you. And you hope to come in and, and make the fans happy because the fans have really built the MCU. And, uh, and so you hope that you are expanding the story in a new way, a different way, and that it also is something that they, they accept and they like. So my character, Icarus, I see he's the strongest of the Eternals. He can fly, shoot lasers out of his eyes and he's got a really big heart despite his sense of duty and honor and being a, a soldier he's a romantic really it's kind of terrifying joining something like the mcu because i've watched these movies i've seen uh, i've seen them talk about thor and thanos and suddenly you're in a scene talking about these characters that you've known and loved so it's daunting but it's super exciting it's nice to be joining something i've always been a big fan of I think audiences can expect to meet a bunch of characters that, despite the fact that they are superheroes, are more like human beings than we're used to in the MCU. I think characters that have lived amongst humanity for 5,000 years have absorbed quite a lot of human traits. What was great about the preparation for this piece was we got to hang out with the director and the other actors before the film started shooting and we got to kind of work out who are these people, how do they, how do they interact with each other, where are you in ancient Rome together, what about Egypt? We could try and work out these stories that aren't in the script and try and kind of layer these friendships and this strange dysfunctional family together. It's amazing working with Chloe, she has this, um, she has this talent of being able to capture the scope and scale of this huge world and these characters and 5,000, 7,000 years and then come in and be really intimate with the characters and I think she can transition so elegantly and that is really essential for this piece. So I play Cersei, she is an Eternal, she has been on Earth for 7,000 years, uh, she has been in love with Icarus for a long time and her power is that she can manipulate matter. I'm so excited to be in London, my family's here tonight, we shot a lot of the movie here, so yeah, really excited. I feel so lucky to have worked with this amazing cast, coming to work every day, I mean, yeah, it doesn't get better than that, Angie, Salma, Lauren. Leah, amazing women, uh, and the guys aren't bad as well. <laughs> well, I was so excited by what she might bring to the MCU. I heard she was a massive fan, um, and I think she definitely brings her, her own sensibility and her own style to the film. I think audiences, I hope they enjoy it. I hope they uh, have fun. Um, I don't know what they might necessarily take away, but for me, one of the themes of the film is connection, connection to humanity, connection to the earth. Well, Chloe Zhao and Marvel, it's a no-brainer, you know? Um, I really mean that. Uh, yeah, I want to join as soon as, like, even the thought of being a part of the movie, I was excited. He kind of takes a stand and, a, you know, a separation, without giving any spoilers away. Uh, he's got his own kind of thing going on. Um, but yeah, it's for the right reasons, I feel. But uh, you, you'll see when you see the movie. I was kind of starstruck. Um, kind of starstruck, admiration slash, you know, lost in the gaze. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, such a family. Such a family, you know, really, really good. Diverse, definite, you know, new, fresh, um, change. Um, you know, and it's, yeah, I, I, I hope people come out feeling that. Uh, you know, somewhat moved and which they will, they will. It's very intimate, very intimate. Again, change and, and, and you know, intimacy in it and such a big uh, platform in, in a Marvel movie and you know, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely, uh, it's, a, it's a different movie. I, that's a credit to Chloe. I love it. I mean, I live in London and we shot most of the film in London. So it's like bringing it home. Uh, I play Ajax and um, I am leading the Eternals here in planet Earth because we've come with a very special 
mission. We have to get rid of the deviants. And it's my job to organize them so that we succeed. It was really exciting. I was really excited to be a part of the Marble family. And um, I was a little worried. Was it going to feel like it was a big machine? But actually, they do make you feel at home. And uh, I think we created a beautiful family within uh, the Eternals. So it's wonderful. I think the audience can expect that Eternals is going to have a very, the, the DNA of marble, you can feel it very strongly, and yet at the same time it's completely different than anything that they've ever seen before. Uh, the best part about it was working with Chloe. She is incredible, she's a genius, I learned so much. I really enjoyed every second of it. I have so much respect. Her ability to create a big scope and then keep the intimacy within it, it's uh, one of a kind. It feels amazing to be here at the UK screening. I mean, this is where we shot the movie and my wife and I were here for six months and we fell in love with the city. Uh, we couldn't wait to come back. It's our first time back, so I'm excited for the people here to see it because this is where we made the film. You know, usually um, it would be excitement followed by fear, but this time it was just excitement followed by even more excitement because I met Chloe and Nate. Chloe's the director, writer, and Nate Moore is uh, one of the producers of the film. And they had such a handle on what the movie was. They knew exactly what they were going to make. And I was like, oh, I don't need to be nervous because they know exactly what they're doing. And if they want me, I'm, I'm going to be right for this thing. Yeah, I did a lot of prep for this role, you know, because I'd never gotten to play a part like this. So other than, you know, just the um, dance lessons from my Bollywood dance sequence, I also watched a lot of uh, old, um, uh, like, swashbuckling movies, like Errol Flynn and Zorro, because I felt like this is a character who really enjoys fighting. Um, I watched movies where characters get to be sort of uh, kicking butt and also funny because I wanted to be able to do that too. So, you know, Die Hard and things like that. Uh, and then I watched, because he's a movie star, I watched a lot of movies that are um, sort of movie star movies. A lot of uh, Paul Newman movies, Rob Redford movies, Denzel Washington movies, Will Smith movies. Uh, it, was, it was great. In some ways, MCU is a throwback to how Hollywood movies used to be. You know, I think recently Hollywood movies have sort of been put into a box. Is it a comedy? Is it action? Is it a drama? Older movies, like the movies I love, like, you know, Casablanca and stuff, kind of had everything. And now the MCU is, in a way, a throwback to that, where these movies have, like, drama, action, suspense, tension, romance, comedy. They sort of have all of it. So, so I think that's what appeals to people about it, because these are the types of movies we've always wanted to see, and Hollywood sort of started making movies uh, more narrow. This cast is the best cast that's ever been assembled. I mean, you get people like Barry, who's absolutely amazing. There he is. I'm a favorite, too. <laughs> I am. Yes, 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 you are. Don't, don't, don't show Selma Hayek that. Um, I mean, this was just, you know, what's great about the cast is there are people who are legends who've had already, like, done fantastic work, and then there are people who are sort of starting out, and everybody was equally talented and the people who were more experienced really sort of led us through this process you know because only a couple of us had done stuff that was this massive so have to have them sort of mentor us through this it was a fantastic learning experience for me honestly i hope they just have a great time watching the movie just because it's such a fun big entertaining movie it has visuals and scale that nobody's ever seen before and then you know there is a message to the movie which is we all have much more in common than we don't. You know, sometimes we get into divisions based on arbitrary things and we focus on our differences when really our similarities are far greater. Well, how excited do you think I am? I mean, it's such a huge honor to be here tonight. I'm just trying to stay in the moment and actually enjoy every single second. Well, first of all, it's Marvel. I mean, the impact that Marvel actually has in the MCU and the comic books have on our culture and just society-wide. It was an honor to be a part of the mythology. And I think that Marvel offers a new perspective in, in the mythology.
Well, I love to have this opportunity. Just, you know, what's so good about playing Makari is, is that she's somebody who really is close to who I am in real life. When I first actually sat down with Chloe, the conversation was more about who are you, Lauren? Tell me more about you. Tell me about your story. And I told her, I love running and I love reading books. And I think that was even before I knew exactly who I was going to be playing. Well, what I would, I would like fans to take away that it's most important superpower that we could have is truly at the end of the day is love. Maybe it's cheesy, but it's the truth. I hope that when the fans watch the movie, that's what they get. You know, that love is the most powerful thing that we have. It's really, it's a real honor to be here, you know, to be back in my hometown, to be in London. You know, to film this film in London, in Camden, and then to sort of come back here and premiere it is really special. Yeah, I play Dane Whitman, who's a sort of one of the human elements in the story. He's not an eternal. He is Cersei's boyfriend at the start of the film. Uh, and he fits him, he sort of represents humanity to her, I think. Yes, please, was my reaction when I was first asked to play this role. No, it took a little bit of thinking about, because I wanted to know who the character was, and if they had a, a plan for him, a further plan, and I spoke to Nate, the producer, and Chloe, the director, a fair bit, and then we signed on. I mean, it's a cast like you've never seen this one, and that's, a, that's the brilliant thing about it, that's the unique thing about it. Um, I mean, it's sort of, I, I came on quite late, I saw the cast, all the different faces, all the different um, brilliant actors in it, and I thought I'd like to be part of that. There's a few messages really with this film, but if there is one that seems to stick out, it's about looking after the earth maybe. I think if this, this film it reflects our times, it's about that. It's amazing. It's so good to be back since we shot a lot of the movie here. Well, it's just a lot more people, but um, my experience working hasn't changed that much because I'm still working with the same 25 department has. They just have a big army behind each other. Have a good time. Um, get to know 10 exciting new heroes and um, go on this adventure through time. Learn about the origin of the MCU. I'm very honored that each of them have brought not only their talent to these characters, but also a sense of themselves, which is the way I love to work. Well, because you want to believe that these um, immortal aliens have walked the Earth for 7,000 years. And in order to do that, you want to see them in these places. And the film is also a bit of a love letter for our planet and to capture that. You know, when Jack Kirby created the Eternals, he created these characters that are on the peripheral of the main narrative and the mainstream uh, superheroes at the time. And Eternals very much stand alone in the same way. I am so excited. It's, it, it's taking us like four years to get here. Oh my God, I fell in love with London for here with the And then you have people like him and Salma and Angie and Barry and everybody. I mean, like we, um, yeah. This is a miracle of miracles that we finished it through COVID, so it's been great. You know, all you have to do is sit down and watch it. No expectations. You should get there, take a look at it, and if it makes you think, if it makes you feel, if it makes you connect with something or someone, I think we've done our jobs. It is actually a film that will probably will make you think about the land that we live and how to protect it. It's very different. It transcends 7,000 years. It has 10 characters. It's not an origin story for one character. It's an origin story for 10. So it's a family film through seven millennia. It's, uh, it's different in every way. It's the most diverse cast. It's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful way to do phase four of the MCU. That was a, listen, it was an honor. Every time we get an actor that says they want to work with us, we go, with us? And they're like, yes, with you. And we're like, yay! <laughs> so we get excited. <laughs> so when Angelina Jolie says she wants to work with us, we go, really, with us? And we're like, yeah, okay. Salma Hayek, yeah, okay. It's like, all right, let's do it. <laughs>